Imagine if something as simple as taking an object from someone's hand could affect your well-being and mental clarity. Intrigued? Welcome back to the Interconnected Zone, where we delve deep into the wisdom that shapes our lives and connects us all. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that might change the way you interact with people and object s around you let's explore why you should never take these three things from anyone's hands and how this ancient wisdom can profoundly impact your life have you ever wondered why some cultures are so particular about how certain items are exchanged it's not just about tradition or manners there's a deeper almost mystical reason behind it you see Every physical interaction we have leaves an imprint on us. Our bodies have an incredible capacity to remember, not just mentally, but physically. This concept is known in Indian culture as Ran Anubanda, which refers to the physical memory that our bodies carry. When you touch or hold something with a certain level of involvement, your body absorbs the memory of that interaction. It's like a subtle form of intimacy that leaves an imprint on your physical being. Imagine sitting in a chair for a while. Even after you leave, forensic experts can detect your presence there long after. That's how powerful physical memory can be. Now, apply this concept to everyday interactions. When you shake hands, hug, or even exchange objects, you're not just sharing a moment. You're sharing a piece of yourself. In many cultures, especially in India, people are aware of this and take conscious steps to avoid unnecessary physical bonds. For instance, they greet each other with a namast instead of a handshake. Why? to minimize physical contact and thus the physical memory that gets transferred. One of the key practices stemming from this awareness is avoiding the direct exchange of certain substances from hand to hand. Let's talk about three specific items you should never take directly from someone's hand. Salt, sesame seeds and soil. Salt is a common item we use daily, but in some traditions, giving or receiving salt directly from someone's hand is avoided. Salt is believed to have strong absorbing properties, not just for moisture, but for the energies and memories of individuals. When you take salt from someone's hand, you might be absorbing their physical memory which can create an unwanted bond. Similarly, sesame seeds, or till, are often used in rituals and are considered very potent. They hold significant energy and memory. Directly exchanging sesame seeds can lead to an unintended physical connection that could affect your personal energy and clarity. Soil in many cultures, is a symbol of the earth and has a profound connection to our roots. Giving or receiving soil directly is thought to transfer physical memory in a way that can deeply affect your grounding and stability. Think about it this way. Every physical bond you create can either support or hinder your path to clarity and liberation. The more unnecessary bonds you form, the more your physical memory gets cluttered, leading to confusion and a sense of unease. This confusion isn't just mental. It's a physical disarray that disrupts your body's natural harmony. It's crucial to understand that the physical memory we gather through various interactions can pile up creating a complex web of bonds that can be challenging to untangle. These bonds can subtly influence our thoughts, behaviors, and overall energy levels. Over time, they can lead to a state where we are less vibrant, 
less engaged with the world around us, and more bogged down by the invisible weight of the our body's natural state is one of ease and vibrancy. When physical memory overlaps and creates confusion, it disrupts this natural state. It's like having too many applications running on your computer, slowing it down and reducing its efficiency. By minimizing these unnecessary physical bonds, we can maintain our body's natural clarity and energy. In our everyday interactions, being mindful of the energy exchanges that occur can help us make conscious decisions that support our well-being. This practice isn't about being paranoid or overly cautious. It's about being aware and making choices that align with your desire for a clear and vibrant life. Let's delve deeper into the cultural practices that have evolved to address this awareness. In many traditional societies, people avoid direct physical contact in certain interactions to maintain their personal energy. Balance. For example, in India, it's common to greet each other with a namast, a gesture that involves no physical contact but conveys deep respect and acknowledgement. This practice helps maintain personal boundaries and reduces the transfer of physical memory. Similarly, when offering items like salt, sesame seeds, or soil, people are careful not to hand them directly. Instead, they place the item down, allowing the other person to pick it up. This seemingly simple act is loaded with awareness and respect for the energy and memory that each person carries. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on this. Write in the comments, I choose mindful connections. This simple act will help reinforce your commitment to being aware of the physical bonds you create. This awareness extends to other aspects of life as well. For instance, when visiting someone's home, you might notice they prefer to sit in the same spot every time. This isn't just about habit. It's about the comfort and familiarity that comes from the physical memory associated with that spot. Even animals, like dogs, exhibit this behavior. They will sniff around to find the perfect spot and will return to it time and again. Because of the memory embedded there, the concept of run and you bond that teaches us to be mindful of our physical interactions and to manage the physical memory we accumulate. It encourages us to keep our physical and energetic space as clean and clear as possible, allowing us to live more vibrant and engaged lives. Imagine the clarity and energy you can reclaim by being mindful of these exchanges. It's a practice of awareness that can lead to profound changes in your daily life. As you go about your day, start noticing how often you exchange objects with others and how it makes you feel. Try to minimize unnecessary physical bonds and see how it impacts your clarity and peace of mind. In essence, the wisdom behind not taking certain things from others' hands is about maintaining your personal space and energy. It's a subtle yet powerful way to stay connected with yourself while navigating the interconnected web of life. So next time someone offers you salt, sesame seeds, or soil, remember this wisdom. Politely ask them to place it down, and then pick it up yourself. This small act of mindfulness can make a big difference in maintaining your physical and energetic purity. Thank you for joining us in the Interconnected Zone. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, your comments are a part of this journey too.
so share your thoughts and experiences below. Until next time, stay mindful and stay connected.